second and final night hosting the show. I know, I'm sad to go. But you know what they say, don't cry because it's over. Smile because now Jimmy owes you a huge favor. <laughs> and Jimmy, ooh, baby, I'm gonna hit you with the worst favor of them all. An invitation to my next improv show. <laughs> and that goes for you too, Guillermo. Okay, great, yes, yes. <laughs> Guillermo, what are you gonna miss most about me? Oh, everything. You're nice, sweet, you're beautiful, you have a good heart. Oh, thank you, Guillermo. I gotta say, it's a little weird to see you in clothes. I, I know, right? Uh. Last night on the show, I had Guillermo do his first ever strip tease. It was muy caliente. Yes. started a trend here in LA. On the move, video now going viral out of Van Nuys, taken just a few seconds after a two vehicle crash at the intersection of Victory and Kester. The viral video showing the driver of a blue pickup exiting the cab of his wrecked truck wearing no pants. The naked man just walks away from the crash scene as several eyewitnesses look on. The man eventually drops the clothes he's carrying into the streets and then just keeps on walking down the road. Yep. Ooh, yeah. That man is currently wanted by me. <laughs> Speaking of naked, Papa John's is stripping the toppings off their pizza for a weird new dish. They're calling it Papa Bowls, which are just loose pizza toppings and cheese, no crust. <laughs> Finally, diarrhea with no carbs. <laughs> oh, these are perfect for people who love pizza but wish eating it made them feel like a feral raccoon. <laughs> The bowls are currently available to any Papa John's loyalty member. Is there a sadder phrase in the English language <laughs> than Papa John's loyalty member? <laughs> and yet somehow, some way, I want in. <laughs> oh, I love pizza and I'm loyal as hell. What's the initiation process here? Do I write an essay about how pepperoni has inspired me? Because it has. <laughs> Is, is there a hazing where they spank me with those big paddles that they take the pizzas out with? Because I can handle it. Oh, 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 thank you, Papa. Can I have another? According to a new study, there has never been a worse time to be a single man. Younger and middle-aged men are the loneliest they've been in generations. <laughs> Wait, uh, you're telling me there's millions of lonely, desperate men with self-esteem issues out there? Sign me up! Come on! That's the cold time to shine, baby! But now that I think about it, we can't have these depressed straight guys on the loose. That's how insurrections happen. <laughs> and, and murders and podcasts. <laughs> So ladies, if you come across one of these dudes, flash him some boob or show him what that mouth do to save our democracy, be a patriot! <laughs> Not only is it harder to meet someone right now, it's also more expensive. New research found that 42% of singles have started going on cheaper dates because the cost of living has gotten so high. I guess that explains why the last guy I dated took me on a romantic dinner to 7-Eleven to eat one of them dirty little hot dogs. <laughs> Go-to moves is to ask a woman out for a hike, which is like not okay. We're dating. We're not Lewis and Clark discovering Montana. <laughs> I don't care how much your rent is. I'm not putting on makeup to go to a park, okay? <laughs> you know what's a good cheap date? Humping. It's free. It usually ends early and it makes me feel like I went to the gym. <laughs> of course. <laughs> The cheapest date of all is having a network television show pay for it. And because, yeah, I'm currently looking for that special someone and I can make Jimmy Kimmel Live staff do whatever I want for the next 55 minutes, I ask them to find me some men in the most romantic place on earth, Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> Oh, hello! What is your name, sir? I'm Michael Lara. May I ask a question? Yes, of Why course. Why are you dressed like a club promoter? You're giving me very Night of the Roxbury vibes. I want to be a, a difference maker in the world. Oh. And just, even if it's just holding someone's hands across the road. I'm so no. sorry. You're too nice. I can't. You're too nice. Cheers. More wine! Oh. 
Oh, Donnie. God bless. Boy, oh boy. Thank you. Send in the next one. Oh, hello. Where is your shirt? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? What is your toothbrush situation? Electric or basic? There's no toothbrush. You don't. <laughs> Goodbye, Fernando. No toothbrush? What is this? Donnie! More wine, please. Donnie, are you single? I sure am. You are? OK, Donnie. Have you ever met a black woman before? Yes. OK, this makes me very happy. Um, how many compliments can you give me in 30 seconds? Go. Uh, I love your hair. You OK. Nice OK. I love that purple on you. Oh, thank you. I love your voice. Oh, my god, Donnie. Woo. Yeah. Donnie, come on. Uh, OK, goodbye, Donnie. Thank hey. you so much. God bless. <laughs> This isn't going well. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, wow, those arms are so nice. Can you give me a nickname and explain why? Big things happen. Big things happen. That's it. OK. I love that. Do you mind taking off your mask? Ooh. Wow, those lips. OK, I would like you to go to my stable uh -huh. right over there and write me a poem. OK, so write you a poem. Yes, thank you. Send in the next one! Hi, how cold. are you? I'm good. How what are you? What is your name? My name's Austin. OK, name a black person from history other than Martin Luther King Jr. Oh, I was about to say L. Ron Hubbard, but that's not going to work, is it? Austin, no! no. That would L. Not work. Ron Hubbard? No. One black person. Reverend Al Sharpton. That is a black person. There we go. Ding, ding. All right, Austin. Would you like to go in my stable? OK. OK. Donnie! God, what is my life? Standing on Hollywood Boulevard begging for <laughs> Oh, my god. <laughs> oh, Donnie. All right, compliment me for 30 seconds, Donnie. Nice hair, good eyes. I love the color on you. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, get out of here, Donnie. This is not going well. Brian, I'd like to hear some poetry, please. Sure. I love to dance. If you give me a chance, oh. I promise to give you true love and romance. Oh. A rose is red, the sky is blue. Oh. True love is forever, so is you. Oh my goodness, Brian. Okay, you have to go back to the pen, Brian. Thank you so much. Wow. Donnie! Donnie, I need you to give me compliments for 30 seconds. <laughs> and go. Hair. Hair? Uh, you Donnie? That was just a word. That wasn't a compliment. <laughs> Not to be rude, but do you like women? I do. You do? I do. OK, I will tell you something. You read as a little gay. I don't, I, I don't mind, Nicole. It's fine. I have drank a lot of wine. I'm from Denmark. I landed here yesterday. Denmark? Yeah. Oh, you're European. I am it's European. It's a fine line. Oh, that's good. It sounds like that's a good thing. It is. I'm going to send you to my stable. Thank you. Give me another. Hi. Hi. Ricky. No, Ricky. No. You got to go. Get out of here, Dan. Go. You got to go. Can I take the wine? No, you're going to leave the wine. That's terrible. Get out of here. Go. Oh, no, I guess you got to go. Didn't work out. You don't seem upset. I should be. <gasps> Donnie! Did you just call me Lizzo? I'm not Lizzo! Get out of here! <laughs> Donnie! That man called me Lizzo! I can't believe it. <laughs> Donnie, did you see the You got Christopher, Austin, Ryan. Oh, come on. I can't make a choice. I choose all three. Uh, all right, let's go. Come on, boys. Donnie! You can come to you. Bring the wine. What's wrong with you? Somebody open the door for me. Oh, come on, Donnie! Oh. After spending more time with the guys, Unfortunately, only one of them ended up being worthy of my time. Donnie! Uh, uh, thank you, sexy. And one 
one more thing. It's Thursday night, which at Jimmy Kimmel Live means it's time to bleep and blur the biggest TV moments of the week, whether they need it or not. It's this week in Unnecessary Censorship. I'm Gail King. More companies are tracking their employees, including taking images of their while they Now, on social media today, Trump said the FBI his That would be an unusual move and one that's not typically done. And you know for a fact they asked for the to be off. They asked for the to be off. Wow. Good morning, guys. Here's Liz Cheney after being last night. We must ourselves in a way that is worthy. You were putting a right in my face, <laughs> and I was leaning this way, and Rick had a in my face over here. Joe had an operation on his I just want you to know it wasn't because of anything we did. Name something that's better at a gay bar than other bars. I would say f***ing. <laughs> There's a girl in our friend group who way too much. <laughs> I in the bathtub, I in the shower. Save your for me, save all your for me. Like when I see Charles come again and again and again and again and again, that gives me hope. Because I know what I'm going to get in the from him. It's nice to share at home and school, but sharing is never cool. Wash your.